Okay, I just got off chair one. We are heading to inspiration. It doesn't look very clear anymore, but maybe it will clear up as we make our way down. So when it is clear up here, you have great views off of that ridge. Another drop off, but people do ski down that, so don't get too concerned. So on a clear day, it opens up right here to some pretty amazing views. If you are afraid of heights, this section can be a little bit scary. Um, my sister took her skis off and walked down it the very first time, but it's not too, too long. So if that is you, at least you can make it through. So we re-recorded this another day when we went, when it was clear, because you just have to see the amazing views on this run. However, it does bring a good point seeing the two side by side. Whitefish Mountain does get a lot of foggy, cloudy days, and what a world of difference it makes. have several black diamonds maybe even some double blacks off the sides of inspiration at various points along the way down so certainly lots of possibilities with this one they cleared up some so you can see some views that is one thing about the mountain. Sometimes the further down you go, it might get clear or it might be cloudy down below and you'll have an inversion and up top, you'll just see the clouds below, which is pretty cool. Whitefish Lake. There's some beautiful real estate on Whitefish Lake. Let me know if you would like some more details. Beautiful real estate up here on Whitefish Mountain as well. So definitely reach out if you would like more information on either. They are also in the process of building some new ski and ski out residences up here as well, right next to chair two. So let me know if you would like information on those. It will also provide some additional dining options for skiers, which I'm looking forward to. A coffee shop as well there, I believe. Okay, so inspiration continues down that direction. However, that's going to take you all the way down to the lodge and chair six, the base lodge. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to turn off here onto Russ's Street so I can go back to chair one. Russ's Street is a green run. And there's some of that real estate I was talking about right up there on that mountain.
that's the middle fork right there. You can take that right down to chair one. I actually think I'm going to head over to chair two. So I'm gonna continue on Russ's street until it meets up with Tony Matt. Russ's street is the easiest run down from the mountain, by the way. right there they are doing the construction right now for the future ski and ski out residences so if you are interested in more information on that give me a call or send me a message you could live right there that's it for this week you guys hit that notification bell so you get notified when new videos drop leave a comment below if there is a particular run you would like to see have an amazing week and i will see you next time